So we're here to um, talk about um, our students' performance in addition and subtraction. And we've just started um, some assessments in subtraction, and we have already uh, done some assessments in addition. Mm -hmm. So um, we were talking about how we wanted to um, start being a little bit more specific with setting up some SMART goals for our students as far as addition, and then setting some SMART goals for our students um, in subtraction. So we said we would like to um, take a look at the different components or pieces that our students would need to have in or, or need to understand in order to, to be successful in both addition and subtraction. So if you want to go ahead and look at um, our critical learning phases, And what are the different um, components or pieces of understanding that you feel that your students need to know in order to be successful in each of these? Uh, for me, it's just uh, place value. Definitely, uh, they know tens, groups of tens, and ten plus more. Do they know ten plus and ten less on any number? To me, I think, too, is combining quantities and reorganizing them by tens and ones. They need to know, like, combining numbers, we make group of ten and we got leftovers. Mm -hmm. they need how to, to make another that. ten. Yeah. How to make another ten. Yes. Um, I think it's also important uh, for them to see the value of that. Why, why does a teacher want me to make tens? Why does mm -hmm. she want me to mm -hmm. break this number to make a ten? And, um, and then also, why, why am I seven to see why they can break the side in two or three or four, in a five and a two. And it's to make that ten, but to have leftovers. And so I think the value is also important. Well, there's definitely a lot of pieces that, um, and like Vicki was saying, that the, the students, they already can do. Mm -hmm. They don't have an appreciation of, you know, um, that it's going to help them in their further, you know, development in, in math. And so our job is to put the pieces together for them and, and help them make those connections. Mm -hmm. Set them up for, for success, success. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so um, I guess this is a good starting point for us to start um, talking about a specific you know, goal that we would like our students. As far as addition is concerned, um, we want to go ahead and, and, and uh, create a, a SMART goal for what, what do we want our students to walk away with um, or to be able to, what do we want a, a second grade team to be able to um, say, this is where we would like our students, this is a place where we, could, we would be satisfied if uh, a certain percentage of our students would meet this criteria by the end of second grade. Well, just based on the, you know, I only assess seven kids, but just based on that goal, I would say probably a third of my kids would benefit from more intense focus on that at this point. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I would have a lot of work, yeah. too. Okay, so, so um, <coughs> let's say within the next two weeks, um, our goal would be what percentage of our students would be able to sure see um, relationships mm -hmm. I'm sorry? If I can do 90% of mine to see them in a relationship, that'd be great. With fluidity, you know, up to right. 20. To be able to explain okay, so it, too. Right. Yes, I think so, too. Yeah. Explain. I really like what you said right now about what's the same about 14 and 33. That's a great question for number talk, yeah. which I haven't been doing that. So I think that's a wonderful question. I can start doing that for sure. Uh-huh. She just said, when we add, I worry about running out of cubes, but today we're subtracting. Why am I not worried about running out of cubes? So I thought that was just a really interesting or nice question because mm -hmm. the, what's going to happen, the number is not going to grow. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. We've and got what we're really working with. How or what we need to do to get our students prepared for third grade. Mm -hmm. um, and in doing that, analyze the data that we've already collected, seeing what we're doing now and what we need to improve upon or change or add, you know, to um, make those students successful in their As a team, is that, would that be something I that 
would be questioning, be questioning. That, would be questioning. Important. that way we can be very intentional exactly in thinking and uh, questioning not only with our within our number talks but also with the end in mind vocabulary that's used between our number talks and assessment. It's something we do in reading. When they right. when they make an error and then they self correct, we'll point that out and say, Well what did you do here? Mm -hmm. And then we have them explain what they did, but in math we don't always we know what they mean if they say twenty tens, but that's a good point making them like somebody coming to my class mm -hmm. and see me doing a number talk. Okay, then glad you do that. The writing, what kind of questions I'm asking, then kind of talk about mm -hmm. it. And then I would like them to come back later again to see if my questioning got better. We and could like we see. I did that last year with Lillian. We did some yeah. of our stuff together, together. in class yeah. because then the kids in my class got to experience oh, right. the, the thought teacher. process of her. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I was saying we take the Maybe we can do that. one and a week. Okay. So there's a couple of things that, that you're you're finding valuable recording this, videoing yourself, going in each other's rooms. Do we want to plan uh, a number talk together? Yeah. We could, plan, we could do that. Because we would have to come back and then So talk partners about planning number talk together? Mm -hmm. yes. 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 And okay. then just let me know what you need as far as coverage or how you, what you're going to plan together and then work together, together, in your, together in, yeah. with your kids. Right. That, that's wonderful. That is. How about how we're going to evaluate ourselves? So we yeah, come in, question. and we're going to see each other, and then what could you do? Well, um, I think one how of the ways we could evaluate it is not just us, maybe the, the students. students, but I mean evaluate their it reactions. Coming across with the students is how they use how are you gonna know the vocabulary the that we're intentionally questioning. Mm -hmm using within our question. Maybe when we sense? videotape it in the beginning and then videotape again at the end and see did the student vocabulary, did their talk, did it... Right, how long of how a time do know? we... Do, what, what's the range of time that, that we want um, to give the kids, mm -hmm. you know, an opportunity to start using that vocabulary and when we're visiting them in the stations, that's where we we're going to be able to notice that they're mm -hmm. using, you know, oh, yeah. what we're we trying can, to get across to them. So. We can probably videotape our... That we um, are seeing for intervention every day. Even if we went ahead and, of course, we're going to miss some things and not say some things that we should have said once we go back and look at it. Record that session with them so that we can see what they're doing. Because when I'm looking at Bobby here, I may not see what Jenny's doing. And so if I do that... And I look at the video and then I go back and I said, okay, this is what I need to work with them on throughout this, during my intervention time, just so that we're hitting all the points and helping all the students at the, you know, session or that time that we're visiting each other's classrooms. Because I, I think we all have good ideas that we could bring to the table. Mm -hmm. And so um, that would be a good opportunity to show, um, you know, what, what I do with my students, you know, that are still needing intervention. That way you can go back to your classroom and um, use that if you want mm -hmm. to. And then when I visit you, you know, just um, getting ideas, I mean, making, you know, uh, that time valuable. We're going to be looking at each other, um, analyzing each other. If, if we're using the vocabulary, we're going to be just um, pulling a small group and showing what kind of things that we're doing for our yeah, intervention. Yeah, right? small group, yeah.